Hey everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. I am fearful that the camera is probably so far away that you're gonna have some echo in here, and I'm really sorry about that if that's the case. I'll do my best in editing to fix that. Uh, but I have a non-ideal situation today because I was expecting to be at the warehouse, but my kids aren't in school today because I didn't read the calendar very closely. So here we are working from home. I had a different plan for Five Ways Wednesday today, but actually one of my subscribers watched my video about the Jujube Bestie, which is this right here, and asked me if I felt like the Bestie would make a good bag for toiletries. And I was like, first of all, that's genius. Second of all, why not just go ahead and do a Five Ways Wednesday with the Bestie uh, and show you guys some really cool ways to use this. So I spent the morning thinking about different ways to pack this up that are fun and unique and more focused on mom than baby. Because I will say, I don't think this is a very great size for a diaper bag. Um, and obviously that's not, I don't think that's how Jujube meant this to be. Uh, so I am gonna show you one way packed with just diapers and wipes and things as like, if you wanted to use this as a little quick trip diaper bag, but the rest of the ways are going to be just for mama, which is something that I love celebrating on this channel. Uh, we love our babies, we love our kids, we love our teenagers, but we count too. And sometimes it's just fun to see things packed the way we would like them. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you're interested in that kind of thing, stick around. We're gonna do a quick word from our sponsor, which is my business, thesensiblemama.com, and then we'll get right into the video. The Sensible Mama is an online baby boutique for babies, toddlers, big kids, and moms. Our warehouse is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are mama-owned and mama-operated. Our website, thesensiblemama.com, is a place where you can find all of the best-known names in the industry researched by us. We are also the home of Limea Brand, which is a high-end line of diaper bags, sunglasses, and accessories designed by me with busy moms on the go in mind. While you're there, make sure you sign up for our Sensible Reward Program or apply for the affiliate program to start earning money either through cash back in the store or directly deposited to your bank account. Lastly, make sure you're following The Sensible Mama on Instagram to be ahead of the game for all store news and product launches. And with that said, let's get right back into today's content. Okay, sorry, I had to switch out of cinematic mode because it was prioritizing my face over the bag. Um, so this first way that I have this packed is packed as just a diaper bag. And I gotta say, this packed up even cuter than I thought it would have. Uh, I should note that this does come with a seatbelt style strap that you can use either crossbody or uh, in backpack mode, which I showed in my last video on the Bestie. But I've taken that off today just to kind of keep things cleaner. Um, there is a nice little slip pocket back here, which I would be putting my cell phone in, but I'm recording on it right now. But I just wanna point out that there is a slot right here that I think is perfect for your phone to go when you have this packed up this way. Now, my absolute favorite thing about this, and um, I realize not everyone would prefer to pack this component up this way, but I just wanted to show you how cool this is, that this fits in here. So. Uh, inside of the little front pocket, I have got the Limea brand small piece from the nylon trifecta packed up as a wallet. So you can toss your cards, ID, cash, checks, things like that. Checks have to be folded up, of course, into here, and it fits perfectly inside of the Bestie. So if you are making a quick trip inside and you don't want to take this little diaper bag, you can just grab this and go. You could even hang this on your keys with the D-ring right here, which is also really cool. Um, and I just love that that fits inside of the front pocket of the Bestie. Interesting news, moments before I sat down to film this video, I got a FaceTime call from our warehouse manager showing me an 18-wheeler backing into our warehouse with all of our Amaris and the nylon trifectas in Still Trending, as well as Steal the Show, which is teal, and Take It Black, which is our black nylon. So those are going to be launching on Friday, and if you pre-ordered, uh, your shipment will be shipping out probably today, the day you're watching this. So we're super excited about that. Um, but I just think this is really cool. Obviously the Bestie has a really nice front pocket on it. If you don't want to use something like this, if you wanna just tuck your cards and cash away inside of there, you can do that too. But I just really wanted to show how nicely that fits in there, almost as if it was designed that way. Like it's just the absolute perfect fit. Onto the inside of the bag. And I really love, like I said, I love how this packed up. I love that there's this mesh pocket here on the front. It just is a nice place for tossing things that you don't want to lose on the inside of the bag. So one of the first things that I have is some Touchland hand sanitizer. Always good to have in general, but especially good when you're doing diaper changes. 
And then I don't know why I haven't just gone out and bought some more diaper rash cream so that I could show it in my videos. But in this case, I'm kind of glad that I don't have any because it forced me to be creative. I went into the um, 200 piece Explorer kit from Welly, which we have at the store. And I just pulled out um, some of the cleansing wipes from it, as well as the um, triple antibiotic ointment. Um, the cleansing wipes have alcohol in them, so this wouldn't be something to use like for baby's bottom, but to have for cleaning up your own hands or cleaning up surfaces or whatever, you could use that. Um, and I've just got the antibiotic ointment in here as well. Obviously, you would probably just prefer to have a small diaper rash cream sitting right here, but I thought it would just be a good opportunity to show you that little packets like this fit really nicely inside of that mesh pocket. So if you were packing this up as like a first aid kit bag or something like that, it would be really useful to pull out some of these little packets and put it inside of that mesh pocket where they're not gonna get lost. Now, I was expecting diapers to fit nicely in here and they do. I have two size six diapers sitting right in the front. What I was not expecting was for a change pad and a wipes case to fit in here. Now, full disclosure, I've had to sort of curl the edges of my Itsy Ritzy wipes case but it does fit. The, the, the wipes case is bigger than the wipes, right? So um, the wipes fit in here perfectly. It's just the extra kind of length of the Itsy Ritzy case in particular makes you have to fold it over a little bit, but it does fit and it fits nicely. Here's the edges of my wipes here and here. So, uh, you know, this, the size of the wipes is more like this. Does that make sense? Um, so it's very easy to bend this to put it inside of there. But I think if you have something like Y pouch, it would probably fit in there a little better without folding. But here's what really blew my mind. This is um, the Limea brand change pad that comes inside of the nylon Sophie. It's got the magnetic closure here, which I just love. Um, and folded over like this, the way that it comes, it fits perfectly in there. Like you don't even have to bend it or fold it. It just goes right in. Um, and th that's not anything particular to this change pad. I think this is a pretty standard change pad. So probably most change pads that you have, if they fold down into uh, a square or kind of rectangular shape like this, are gonna fit in here as a little diaper bag. And I just think that is so freaking cool. The next way that I have this packed is as a toiletry bag. And as I was packing this up, I realized you um, who asked me to pack this up and me might have a different idea about what a toiletry is. So I hope I haven't messed this up. That I put in here that I didn't do, well, I did not do this as a makeup bag. I did it as what I consider to be toiletries, which is like toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, all that stuff. So that's what's in here. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry, but hopefully this will help give you an idea about size and dimension and what can fit in here at least. Uh, so here in the front pocket, I have got tampons, uh, cause you know, when you need those, it's nice to be able to get to those quickly. Um, and those took up a lot of the space actually here in the front pocket. So then just in the mesh pocket, I have got a hand sanitizer. <clears throat> um, often, especially if I've been out during the day, even when I've like washed my hands when I get home, before I touch my face and start doing my like nighttime routine, I just kind of like to do a quick hand sanitizer. Um, so I've got that in there and then I have got my Vaseline chapstick. I gotta say, I am really impressed with how even my tall toiletry items fit in here. I think you guys are gonna be surprised too. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, I'm just really impressed overall with how this packed up. Let's turn it this way so you can kind of see this inside mesh pocket right here. Um, it just all, it packed up so nice. So let me show you everything that I have in here. Um, in the mesh pocket, I have got some Neutrogena makeup removing wipes. I know that at my age, I'm not supposed to be using these, but when I'm traveling, I just don't usually feel like bringing along um, my, my face wash and stuff. And these are just very convenient. So I like to bring those along with me. In the mesh pocket, I've also got my favorite oil by Teamy. That's a great, just like moisturizing oil for after I wash my face. And I've got my toothbrush, a travel toothbrush in there. And that was everything that was inside the mesh pocket. But then this, this is the part that really surprised me. So I have sitting one on top of each other, I've got a daytime cream that I put on underneath my um, makeup. And I've also got my nighttime face cream. I am going to be 37 this year, guys. So I've also got my retinol <laughs> in here. And it, this, this, this big thing, it fits upright in here. I think this really shocked me um, because when you look at the bestie, it doesn't really look like it's that tall, but this I consider to be a tall thing. So I'm just really, I'm shocked that it fit in there. 
Um, next, I have got, everyone asks me how I keep my hair looking poofy. Um, mostly it's this, my got to be glued uh, boosted thickening cream. I love this. I guess it's just got to be boosted thickening cream. It's what I put in my hair right before I start styling it. So I've got that in there. I have also got my deodorant, my toothpaste here. And then the last thing that I had in there uh, was this Welly kit. This is the adult travel medicine kit. It's usually at nighttime when I'm starting to feel like I need some medicine. Uh, so there's an anti-diarrheal gas relief, a sleep aid, and a motion sickness relief, as well as just, as well as, as well as a pain reliever and fever reducer. So that fit just about everything that I need for my morning and nighttime routine. Obviously my makeup is not in here, but I, that packed a punch. Like that really, really was impressive to me. So thank you so much for the idea to do this. Are you ready to see the freaking cutest thing you've ever seen? I know that I said I was gonna do this all for like moms, but y'all, I had to show you this because I was going through my comments uh, on my last video about the bestie and someone had mentioned that they had fit the switch in there. And I was like, no way. There's no way. There is no way that a gaming system like that is inside of here. So I had to show you guys because this is amazing. I turned this into like a little tech bag for a kiddo. I'm going to show you what I have in here because I think it's super cool. I feel like this is a really, really good idea for an airport or maybe for car travel to give to your kid for them to carry around themselves and just have a whole bunch of like techie activities. I know it's great to carry around like Montessori toys and things like that, but when you're traveling, especially in an airport, sometimes tech is best. It's just easy and it's smaller in size. You can't lose a lot of pieces. This, this is the coolest. Okay, let me just get into it. Uh, so here in the front, I have got a mobile hotspot. I do finally have a hotspot on my phone after all these years, but I still like to show this in my videos for those folks who do not have a hotspot on their phone. Did you know you can purchase an external hotspot like this that you can connect um, tablets, phones, iPads, whatever you want to, to. This one is by Verizon and it is limitless data. So sometimes I still prefer to use this instead of my phone because I don't want to get throttled <laughs> on my phone. Um, and this is great because I can get multiple devices attached to it. I can get my kids' tablets and whatever else they need attached to this. Obviously a tablet, not even, probably not even Amazon Fire is going to fit in here. I don't have my kids' fires here, so I can't test that theory out, but I don't think so. But even if your kids are carrying their tablets separately or you have yours in your diaper bag, um, it's nice to have this and it does fit inside this front pocket. Then next I have a Limey brand coin purse with um, just little switch games in here. Uh, and honestly, you'd probably want to use like a Jujube coin purse for this instead of a, your Limey coin purse, just in case it were to get lost. This is a very expensive item, whereas the Jujube coin purse is a free gift that you get. But I could not find any of my Jujube coin purses, so in here they go. Uh, but I did kind of think it was a good opportunity to show you how nicely the Limey brand coin purse fits in this front pocket with still a lot of room to spare. So whereas the small piece from the trifecta takes up kind of all the space in that front pocket, the coin purse fits really nicely and still leaves a lot of space. And this is still something that I like to pack up as a wallet for myself too. And that fits really nicely in there. The magic happens though on the inside of this bag because like, I just, I'm sorry, how freaking cute is this? Um, it's adorable. So what I have in here, First is just a little camera. I got one of these for Abby and for Roman for Christmas. It's a little, it's an actual digital camera. It's made by VTech um, and it's super cute. It's got games on it and it takes pictures. The pictures that they take can be downloaded to your computer or your phone. And Abby and Roman just absolutely love playing with this. It makes them feel grown up. They love taking pictures of each other and it fits really nicely, both vertically and horizontally inside of the bestie. Next in here, I have a little pair of headphones, whether they're gaming or watching their tablets, it's just nice to have that there. This is my new uh, favorite Amazon purchase that I've ever made. I'm gonna show it to you here. This is uh, a, you know what this is. This is a charging station. I purchased this because I have a, an entertainment system over here that has a hole in the back of it where I can kind of put uh, one extension cord through the hole and then I put this inside of a, a cabinet inside of the entertainment system that has a door on it. So this sits inside of there. And then in the evening, my kids take whatever tech they have, you know, their little tablets or their Amazon fires or whatever, 
and they come and plug this in and close the door. <laughs> so uh, I don't have their tech like sprawled all around the house or up on surfaces. I go to sleep with the house having a really clean appearance because their tech is inside of a drawer, I, or not a drawer, inside of a cabinet with a door on it. I plug my own tech in there as well. But what's really cool about this is that this fits inside of the Bestie. So especially if you are like at an airport, let's just say you have a flight delay or something and you're stuck in the airport for several hours, you can take this, um, plug this in. You will need an extra cable for plugging this in, which I had tucked in the front pocket of this, but I guess I took it out while I was packing. You will need um, the back to this to plug into a wall. But if you are able to find one of those precious spots in an airport where you can get to uh, an outlet, you can actually plug this in and then everyone can charge their devices here. It is genius to take with you while you're traveling, um, but even tossing this inside of the Bestie for all of your kids tech here can be a great thing too. And then lastly, there it is, there's the switch. It fits, it fits even down like that, but I actually had it up like this before it tipped over. You can fit a stinking switch in here. That is nuts to me. There's voodoo magic on this bag because I don't understand how some of these things are fitting in here. So anyway, that is the bestie packed as a tech bag. One of my favorite things to do when I have a little time to myself is pack up a book and a journal and go to a coffee shop somewhere. So this is packed up as a coffee shop bag. And you guys, I, I feel like I'm being a broken record, but this is freaking adorable. The way that this the way that this bag packs up is blowing my mind, okay? So let's just go ahead and get into it because I just think this is so cool. So again, this is like, if I'm going to a coffee shop, I wanna have everything in one place, my phone here in the back slip pocket. I'm gonna need my wallet, a place to put my keys, and then the stuff that I'm gonna be working with while I'm in the coffee shop. So here in the front, I have that, um, I have my Limey Brand coin purse plus uh, my keys attached to the key ring over here. So all in one place, all together. And then I also have that uh, mobile hotspot that I showed you earlier. Now, I am in love with how this is packed. If I had a small pack, I'm in love with how this is packed. Um, I have, you know what, I should just go ahead and do this just to show you. If I had a small pack of tissues, like the travel along tissues, I would have put those in here. Um, because usually if I'm reading something at a coffee shop, I almost always end up getting emotional and I'm often journaling too, which can lead to emotions. So the way I would probably have this packed would be to have my hand sanitizer here and then a little pack of tissues right here. But I do want to show that with two things in there like that, this still will fold, like will, will close up just fine. So that's what's in that front pocket. And then look at this. So sitting right here in the front, I have this zip it bag. I, this is my new favorite bag for my pens and pencils. And let me show you why it collapses pretty flat like this. So it goes so nicely inside of the bestie, but when you open it up, excuse me, it, it opens up like this where I can put this down on the table and I can see straight into it. Let's bring it down a little. I can see straight into this. So I can see all of my pins and all of my markers and things and just be able to reach into it really easily. So I just love being able to put this out on the table and uh, access whatever pins or markers that I need. So I love, love, love that this fits inside of the bestie. Now, right behind that, I had my book and my journal. So um, this is definitely the size of book that's, that fits best in here. A small paperback book fits really great. This is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. If you have not read this yet, I strongly, strongly recommend that you read it. I'm making my second pass through it right now. It is, it's incredible, so incredible for personal growth. I highly recommend. Um, so what I had in here, I've got my pens, I've got my book, and then I've got my little journal back here as well so that I can sit and I can read and I can write down the thoughts that are occurring to me while I read. But I wanted to show you while I'm here that it doesn't have to be a tiny little book like this. This is a much bigger hardcover book um, that also fits. Does it fit as satisfyingly? No, but if you are bringing along even a bigger hardcover book, that will fit and you can still get a journal in there as well. Um, let's just go ahead and see if the zip it will still go in. I think it will. Yep. 
had to work just a tiny little bit to get it zipped. Um, but this is one of the benefits of having a dual zipper is that I can kind of work both zippers to get that shut. But yeah, you can even get that big hardcover book in here, which again, I just, I never would have, if you would have asked me when I sat down to film this video, if any of this stuff would fit in here, I would have said no. Um, I brought one more thing over to test out. This is my ESV uh, Bible. This is uh, by Crossway. I love, I just love it's such a buttery Bible. Um, does it fit? Everyone always asks, people who know that this is the Bible that I have, they always ask if it fits in certain things. And yes, this fits inside the bestie too. So no matter whether you're going to do some heavy reading or some, some I wouldn't call this lighter reading, but just a smaller book, um, to go journal, to go do some Bible study, and to do some writing. This all is going to fit inside the bestie perfectly. The last way that I have this packed is super specific because it's packed as a little skate bag. Um, but even if you're not a skater, I hope that you'll watch this part because I do think all of this is information, like showing you what types of things fit in here. Because even if you don't use any kind of skating gear, you probably can learn something about dimensions from this. Um, one thing that I want to say is that what I'm using right now as my like big skate bag is my 12 little stroller caddy. I keep all of my wheels in here, extra bearings, uh, extra tools. I keep my knee pads, elbow pads, and wrist guards in here. This is just kind of like when I'm going to go skating, I just always bring this with me. But this is obviously impractical. Um, well, not impractical really, but just I can't really wear this and skate if I needed to. Um, and it's very big. So if you're wanting to carry a smaller bag, that you could wear crossbody while you skate or put it in backpack mode and have all the things that you would need, especially if you're going trail skating, where if you get hurt or if you have a wheel come loose or you realize you need to loosen your trucks or something like that, you'll want to have that bag on you. And this actually works really, really great. So what I have here in the front pocket is kind of like a little mini first aid kit all in the front. I can't tell you how many times I've been out trail skating and have fallen down and gotten like a cut or a scrape and just really wish that I could bandage that up really quick. Um, so what I have in here are, I, I scavenged all of this out of the 200 piece excursion kit from Welly. Uh, I have two big band-aids and then just a random assortment of smaller band-aids. Then also in here, I have some cleansing wipes with alcohol in them and um, triple antibiotic ointment and hydrocortisone cream. Then in this little, in the mesh, I have some allergy pills. If you have allergies, don't ever go roller skating without having some of these on you. These are the fast acting ones so that if I'm out and I suddenly get uh, an allergy attack, hopefully I can start to get it under control while I'm skating. Uh, and then lastly, I just have some pain reducer in here. These are ibuprofen tablets. So I just love to have those again in case I fall and hurt myself. Then in the main compartment, I just have a lot of things that I find myself needing while I'm out and about. Here it is. It looks a little messy, but it's actually pretty organized. Uh, sitting right on the top, I have my sunglasses. These are my Linea brand aviators in um, Twilight Fade. I love these because they've got a really, really cool fade to them. And I love to roller skate with these because they really, they're polarized for one, so I can see really nicely in them, which is important while you're roller skating. You don't want to have on sunglasses that are going to have like a strong reflection and then make it difficult to see what's on the ground. But also these do a really, really great job of keeping the sun out of my eyes because it's just an all around kind of coverage. Um, so I've got those in there inside of the bamboo case that they come in in case I realize that I need them. In the mesh pocket here, I have got my Powerdyne skate tool. This has got all the tools that you need on it to make adjustments to your skate, whether that's tightening or loosening your trucks or your wheels. Um, this will do all of that for you. And I also have a bearings puller. I don't, I, I don't think I've ever had to use a bearings puller while I was out, but I just still always feel like I need to have it. Also in here, I have a couple of toe guards. I got these from um, an Etsy shop that I really love. She's on Instagram and on Etsy, so I will link her down below. These are really nicely made. Um, I don't always leave these on my skates because I kind of just like the way my skates look without them. But if I'm going somewhere where I kind of worry that I might be dragging my toes a little bit, um, or just any environment where I feel like I might cause damage to the front of my skates, I'll go ahead and put these on real quick. Um, I have had toe stops come off before and I realize it's probably because I wasn't screwing them on all the way or just not doing it correctly. But I did at one time have a toe stop not only come off, but go rolling out down a hill into a ditch, like a drainage ditch that I couldn't, I couldn't get it. So I do carry a backup pair of toe stops just in case. 
And then the last thing that I always, always, always keep with me is a nice pair of crossover wheels. These are Luminous 85A wheels, and I love these because they light up. Hard to see in this lighting, but in darkness, they light up and they're really pretty. Um, and 85 hardness is a nice hardness that can go indoor or outdoor. So even though I have like skates that are set up for outdoor skating that have a really, really gummy outdoor wheel on them, and then I have my other skates that are set up for indoor with a really hard, slipperier kind of wheel, a crossover wheel is just good to have and have a full set with the bearings already in it inside of your skate bag, just in case anything happens to your wheel while you are out. Again, I had an experience where I actually had a pair of skates break while I was skating on them and the whole front piece came off of the skate. And when that happened, one of the wheels went rolling and I was not able to find it. <laughs> um, so ever since that time, I have always kept a complete set of wheels ready to go um, just in case. And by the way, that's why it's going to be really important to have your skate tool so that you can replace those wheels and get them on tightly and safely if you need it. So that is everything that I had down in there. It makes a really cute little skate bag. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it gave you some cool ideas for how you could use the Bestie. We will have the Bestie in stock whenever the launch day is for Jujubee. Someone said in my comment section that it seems like Jujubee has announced a launch date as the 11th. Uh, but they have not notified their distributors or their retailers of that yet, to my knowledge. At least I have not been informed of that. So the 11th, I guess, is the tentative date. We will have these as well as a few other things in stock on the launch day, whenever that ends up being. Um, most of the stuff that I showed you here today, or a lot of it at least, is available at thesensiblemama.com. I will leave links to that down below. And anything that's on Amazon that I can find the links for, I will leave that as well. Love ya. Mean it always. Mwah! And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.